kwa watu wote Usini kwa watu
Jameni Yesu ainuliwe. Utukufu murudie Bwana. Ajionyeshe kwenye nguvu kwa maisha yako. Amen. Bikie Yesu makofi mazuri. Haleluya. Bwana usalamie jirani yako unapokaa chini mwambie ndugu usikae mgeni namna hivyo. Pana onekana mgeni sana asante sana worship God bless you yeah amen hii wiki ni wiki ya barabara ya msalaba jamii ni bwana Yesu apewe sifa ni wiki ya nini msambiambia jirani yako hii ni wiki ni wiki ya barabara ya msalaba amen hii ni wiki Simamia Tutakusulubisha nini ndugu wewe <laughs> Bwana Yesu apewe sifa Kuna nguvu za msalaba Watoto wa Mungu kuna nguvu za msalaba Ambia jirani namna hivyo kuna nguvu ya msalaba na mimi katika nguvu za msalaba ninaangazia viti vitatu peke yake. Na tunataka tuangazie hivi viti vitatu kwa nguvu za msalaba. Uh, jamba la kwanza nguvu za msalaba zinaangaziwa kwa historia ya msalaba. So the history of the cross. Jamba la pili kwa nguvu za msalaba is the uniqueness of the cross. Uh, the uniqueness of the cross of Christ um, utafauti upekee wa msalaba ya Kristo the uniqueness of the cross of Christ ya tatu the benefits of the cross faida ya msalaba so my dear viewers we are looking at this reflection of the cross this week we are beginning the journey of the cross to other religions they celebrate they say it's a week of palm tree yeah because Jesus yes waliingia Jerusalemi na matawi ya mtende lakini mimi ninaanza barabara ya msalaba bwana Yesu asifiwe ebu wiki hii iwe wiki ya barabara ya msalaba Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Let it be a week of the cross. Because juma la msalaba kwa sababu Let it be a week of the cross. Hebliwe juma la msalaba. As we reflect on these three things. Tunapoangazia hizi vitu vitatu. The history of the cross. Historia ya msalaba. The uniqueness of the cross of Christ and the benefits of the cross. My dear viewers, God wants us to look at the cross. Mungu anataka tuangazie tuangalie msalaba. And I believe the Holy Spirit wants us to reflect on the cross. Na naamini Roho Mtakatifu anataka tuangazie msalaba. And that's why. Na ndio sababu. I invite you na kualika to reflect on the cross. Kuangalia tena msalaba. Let us look at these three things. Hebu tuangalie hizi vitu vitatu. Basically I will emphasize the benefits of the cross. Kimsingi nitasisitiza faida za msalaba. The history of it. Historia yake. It is documented in the book of Deuteronomy 21 um, chapter 21 verses 22 up to 23. Mkumbu la Torati 21 mstari wa 22. The Bible says, Biblia inasema, if a man committeth a sin with worth of death and uh, he be to be put to death thou hang him on a tree his body shall not remain all the night upon the tree but thou shalt shall in any wise bury him that day for he that's hanged is a cast of god that the land may be not defiled which the lord thy god giveth thee Go ahead, read, son. 
akiwa mtu ametenda dhambi ipasayo kufa akauawa nawe aka ukamtundika juu ya mti mzoka wake usikae usiku kucha juu ya mti lazima utamsika siku hiyo hiyo kwani aliyetundikwa amelaaniwa na Mungu usiche ukatia unajisi katika inji yako akupayo bwana Mungu wako iwe urithi wako Holy Spirit of God Roho mtakatifu wa Mungu breathe on us Puliza juu yetu as we reflect on the cross Tunapoangalia tena msalaba My Father I pray Baba yangu naomba that our life will be transformed Kwamba maisha yetu itabadilishwa Thank you Jesus Sande Roho mtakatifu Dear brethren wapenzi wangu the cross has a history msalaba una historia we look back tunaangalia nyuma in the days of moses katika siku za musa when the children of israel had come or had come from egypt wakati wana wa israeli walikuwa wametoka misri on the way to the promised land njiani wakielekea inji ya ahadi god spoke to them mungu alinena nao about the cross kuhusu msalaba the cross has a connection with the sin msalaba una muunganiko na dhambi that's why the history is saying ndipo sa historia inasema if anyone is guilty of an offense or sin that deserve the death the Ki- penalty and execution should be the cross e, maandiko inasema kwamba ikiwa mtu ametenda dhambi mpasayo kufa na auawe ma Matokeo yake ni lazima aweze kuuawa. So it has a history of excuse. Bas ina historia ya kuua. Therefore my dear brothers, bas ndugu zangu ni that history, hiyo historia has side effect on our life today. Ina madhara yake katika maisha yetu leo. Because we are guilty. Kwa sababu sisi tuna hatia. We are guilty of sin. Tuna hatia ya dhambi. I want to serve tunastahili to be a cast people kuwa watu waliolaaniwa to be a cast man kuwa mtu aliyelaaniwa but the cross has a solution lakini msalaba una suluhisho let us follow the cross number 2 hebu tufuate msalaba ya pili there is a cross kuna msalaba found carried by the messiah himself ambao ulibebwa na masia mwenyewe that makes the cross of christ unique hii inafanya msalaba wa kristo kuwa wa kipekee remember there were three crosses kumbuka kulikuwa na misalaba mitatu as an execution kama ile ya kuua the first one was the cross of a robber ya kwanza ilikuwa msalaba wa mnyang'anyi and the second one the same ya pili ni vivyo hivyo but the cross of christ was different lakini msalaba wa kristo ulikuwa tofauti the cross of christ msalaba wa kristo was carrying the weight of sin ulikuwa umebeba uzito wa dhambi my dear brothers ndugu zangu ni yes ndio it was the element of execution ilikuwa tendo la kuua but the cross of christ is different lakini msalaba wa kristo ni tofauti because the cross of christ was carrying the weight of our sin kwa sababu msalaba wa kristo ulikuwa umebeba uzito wa dhambi zetu that weight of sin is your sin huo uzito wa dhambi ni dhambi zako that weight of sin was my sin hizo uzito wa dhambi ilikuwa dhambi zangu as you reflect on the cross this week unapoangazia msalaba juma hili look at the weight of the cross angalia uzito wa msalaba and then you know the weight of sin ndipo utakapojua uzito wa dhambi Jesus fell three times Yesu alianguka mara tatu Because was carrying the weight of our sin Kwa sababu alikuwa amebeba uzito wa dhambi Dear children of God Eh wapenzi wana wa Mungu Our sin is too heavy Dhambi zetu ni zito sana No man could carry the weight of Hakuna sin Hakuna mtu angebeba uzito wa dhambi No sacrifice could carry the weight of sin Aliyesulubiwa alipeba dhambi No religion dambi. could carry the weight of sin Hakuna dini ingebeba uzito wa dhambi Jesus Christ lakini Yesu Kristo on the cross akiwa msalabani he carried the weight of our sin alibeba uzito wa dhambi zetu that's why in Isaiah chapter 53 liposa Isaiah katika sura ya 53 you can look at it unaweza iangalia he had carried our pain 
pain our grief alikuwa amebeba uzito na uchungu wetu our sorrow upon him uzuni wetu juu yake Dear children of God. You deserve to be a cursed person. Wastahili kuwa mtu aliyelaaniwa. You deserve to be punished and be executed. Ulitakana kuwawa. Your good name could not save you. Jina lako halingekuokoa. Your money could not change your life. Pesa zako hazingebadili maisha yako. Your community cannot could not change you jumuiya yako haingekubadili but the cross of christ lakini msalaba wa kristo carried the weight of our sin ulibeba uzito wa dhambi zetu and he paid that price on the cross lipa gharama hiyo msalabani that's why paul says if paul anasema if there is any way to boast kama kuna nia yoyote ya kujivunia i'll boast of the cross of christ nitajivunia msalaba wa kristo Children of God, wana wa Mungu, this is your weight of sin. Huu ndio uzito wa dhambi zako. As you reflect on the cross, unapoangazia msalaba, think about the weight of your sin. Fikiria kuhusu uzito wa dhambi zako. Take it lightly. Usiichukue kirahisi. It costed the son of the living God to carry it. Ili msababisha mwana wa Mungu aliye hai kuibeba. He carried it. Aliibeba. And when he was so defeated because of the weight of it. Na alipokuwa amelemewa kwa sababu ya uzito wake. They forced an African man to carry it. Walimlazimu Mwafrika kuubeba. A man from Ukraine. Mtu kutoka Ukraine. And he carried the cross. Na akabeba huo msalaba. Because it was too heavy. Kwa sababu ilikuwa mzito. It was the weight of my sin. Ilikuwa uzito wa dhambi zangu. It was the weight of your sin. Ilikuwa uzito wa dhambi zako. But lakini the good news is that habari njema ni kwamba on that cross hapo msalabani on that cross hapo kwenye msalaba my sin has lost control over my life dhambi zangu zimepoteza uelekezi juu ya maisha yangu on that cross juu ya huo msalaba my savior mwokozi wangu has carried the weight of my sin amebeba uzito wa dhambi zangu carried the weight of your sin amebeba uzito wa dhambi zako has carried the weight of your curse amebeba uzito wa laana yako children of god wana wa mungu we come from different backgrounds natoka katika misingi tofauti some of community are very interesting and we participate in funny funny things and sometimes even if we are saved still we suffer the consequences of our community of our families na wakati mwingine hata baada ya kuokoka bado tunapata madhara ya matendo ya jamii zetu why do you suffer Some of the suffering you are going through it because of the generational curse that has been pursuing your life. Without the cross you are nothing. Bila msalaba wewe ni bure. Without the cross bila msalaba you remain a cursed person. Unabaki mtu aliyelaaniwa. You remain a person a who deserve to be punished unabaki mtu anayetakikana kuhukumiwa oh the uniqueness of the cross of christ oh pekee wa msalaba wa kristo the other guys jamaa hao wengine they died on the cross walikufa msalabani but only one lakini mmoja tu who discovered aliyekundua who said aliyesema even if you're on the same cross hata kama tu uko kwa msalaba zile but this one is different lakini hii hapo this one is unique hii ni ya pekee the first one wa kwanza was a man of abuse alikuwa mtu wa matusi was a man of negligence alikuwa mtu wa madharau wa kuzia like alisema why don't you save yourself and save us kwa nini usijiokoe na utuokoe na asi you know there are some people they are very bitter even at the death unajua baadhi ya watu wana machungu hata katika mauti even if you preach to them they are not ready to change hata uhubirie hawako tayari kubadilika even on the bed of death they are still cursing god hata kitandani mwa mauti wangali wanamlaani mungu but 
Lakini, there was another one on the other side Lakini, na mingine upande wa pili. who said Aliesema, this man is different from us huyu mtu ni tofauti na sisi this man is innocent huyu mtu hana hatia in other words was kwa, saying kwa maneno mengine alikuwa anasema this man is punished for our sins huyu mtu amepigwa kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu he is carrying our sins anabeba dhambi zetu and then on the cross he turned on the left na katika msalaba akakeuka upande wa kutoto. And he said master. Akasema bwana. Remember me in your kingdom. Nikumbuke katika ufalme wako. That is a mystery that I cannot explain. Even my theology cannot explain it. Hiyo ni siri ambayo siwezi eleza hata theolojia yangu haiwezi ieleza. Who preached to this man to know that the man on this cross was carrying his sins. Nani aliyehubiria huyu mtu kujua kwamba mtu aliye katika msalaba huu amebeba dhambi zake? And this man is carrying the key to eternity. Na huyu mtu anabeba funguo za umilele. Let me pause a little bit. Hebu nitulize kidogo. Don't be misled. There is no other man who has a key to eternity. Kuna mtu mwingine aliye na funguo za umilele. No any mightiest prophet who has a key of eternity. Hakuna nabii mkuu zaidi aliye na funguo za umilele. Jesus Christ the son of the living God. Yet to Christ mwana wa Mungu aliye He has the key of hell. Anafungua sa kusimu and he has the key of eternity. Na anafungua sa umilele. He opens and no man can shut. Anafungua na hakuna uwezo wa No man can open. Anafunga na hakuna uwezo wa kufunga. Believe in Jesus Christ. Amen katika Kristo Yesu. With all your heart. Na moyo wako wote. And you'll be saved with your family. Na utaokolewa na jamii yako. What a revelation. Ufunuo wa namna gani? For this executed man kwa huyu mtu aliyewekwa msalabani to discover that the man in the middle had the key of eternity kukundua kwamba mtu aliyekuwa katikati yao alikuwa anafungua za milele i feel so bad when i hear some preachers claiming that no man can see heaven but by the word of their mouth i say what a blasphemy no man can do that but only jesus christ the son of the living god who has the key of eternity if you believe in him no matter how sinful you are you will enter eternity wana kasirika naposikia baadhi ya wahubiri wakisema kwamba hakuna mtu anayeweza kuingia katika ufalme wa mbingu ila kwa maneno ya vinywa vyao Hakuna mtu yeyote ambaye anaweza kupeleka mbingu ila Yesu peke yake. Oh my dear friends. Eh hey, rafiki zangu wapenzi. Reflect on this cross. Fikiria kuhusu msalaba huu. And see the one who paid the price for you as. Na uone aliyeliba gharama ya dhambi zako. See your salvation. Ona wokovu wako. See your healing. Ona uponyaji wako. See your miracle. Ona muujiza wako. See the end of your curse. Ona mwisho wa laana yako. And thirdly, na ya tatu we see the cross the power of the cross reflecting the benefits thereof naona nguvu za msalaba sikidhihirisha faida zake ah prophet number 1 eh faida ya kwanza the power of our redemption that's benefit number 1 benefit ya kwanza nguvu za ukombozi wetu benefit number 1 faida ya kwanza I say the uniqueness okay the cross has three aspects the first one i said The cross has history. Secondly, the cross is unique because of Christ. Number three, the cross has benefits. Now, number three, the the benefits of the cross. Sasa ya tatu faida za msalaba. Number one, ya kwanza, it has the power of our redemption. Ina nguvu za ukombozi wetu. Galatians 3:13 and 14. Wakalajia 3:13 na 14. It tells us. Inatuambia. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Kristo ametukomboa kutokana na laana ya Torati. It was through the cross. Ilikuwa kupitia msalaba. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Kristo alituokoa katika laana ya Torati. Can we say together children of the house or together Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Say it again. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. 
Tuseme wote kwa Kiswahili Kristo ametukomboa kutoka katika laana ya Torati. Kristo ametukomboa kutoka katika laana ya Torati. Now look at me. Sasa niangalie. That redemption huo ukombozi that word redeem hilo neno kukomboa it means a full price have been paid inamaanisha gharama kamili imelipwa full price kamili gharama no kamili half price hakuna bei nusu it is paid off imelipwa yote redeem kombolewa mm. Jesus paid the price. Yetu alilipa gharama. He paid it. Alilipa through the cross. Kupitia msalaba. Through the shedding of his blood. Kupitia kwa kumwaga damu yake. Isaiah says. Isaiah anasema, God was satisfied. Mungu alishibishwa, alitosheka. Mm. Jesus paid the price. Yetu alilipa gharama. For me and for you. Kwa ajili yako na kwa ajili yangu. Now dear ones, sasa wapenzi. Christ has redeemed. Kristo ametukomboa. When you look at the cross, unapoangalia msalaba, see your redemption. Angalia ona ukombozi wako. Redemption, ukombozi. See your redemption. Ona ukombozi wako. See your redemption. Ona ukombozi wako. What does redemption mean? Ukombozi yamaanisha nini? The price have been Hey, gharama imelipwa yote. Mm. And therefore, na basi, if the price katika gharama is paid, kama gharama imelipwa, you don't have a debt. Hauna deni. That's why we sing. Huwa ndio sababu tunaimba. Deni yangu ya dhambi. Yesu amelipa kwake msalabani nilipewa zima deni ya dhambi msalabani ili malizikia ni wow children of god wana wa mungu the debt Deni. The price Arama. have been paid. Imelipwa. Christ did it. Kristo alilipa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. That's the benefit number one. Hiyo ndio faida ya kwanza. A sinner like me. Mwenye dhambi kama mimi. I can call upon his name. Naweza liitia jina lake. And he has promised. Na ameahidi. The curse will not operate. Laana haitatenda kazi. Now Look at me again. Sasa niangalie tena. The curse had two faces. Laana ilikuwa na nyuzo mbili. Face one, uso wa kwanza, it was facing the Jews. Ilikuwa inawaangalia Wayahudi. Because Jews were given the covenant, kwa sababu Wayahudi walipewa agano, and they did not obey the covenant. Na hawakutii hilo agano. And it is written, na imeandikwa, cursed is anyone who does not walk and fulfill the law. Amelaaniwa yule asiyetembea na kukamilisha Torati. Mm. So the curse was upon the Jews. Basi laana hii ilikuwa juu ya Wayahudi. What about us Gentiles? Na je, sisi mataifa? Oh my goodness. Oh uzuri wangu. We are rebellious. Tulikuwa watu wa ash. We, we worshiped idols. Tulikuwa naabudu miungu. Oh my goodness, the curse was upon us. Laana ilikuwa juu yetu. A matter of fact, ukweli ni kwamba Look at me again. Niangalie tena. Why African have remained behind for many years? Kwa nini wa Afrika wamebaki nyuma miaka mingi? It's because ni kwa sababu of the idol worship ya ibada ya sanamu and the practice of witchcraft na matendo kazi za uchawi. Believe me in Africa. Niamini katika Afrika. There are pastors who consult the dead for their churches to be full. Kuna wachungaji wanaoenda kutafuta ushauri kutoka kwa wafu wanaenda kwa uchawi baba wanaenda kwa uchawi ili makanisa yao ifaulu they are, they are preachers kuna waumini who use charms ambao wanatumia irisi to get the miracles kupata miujiza and they fool some believers na wanadanganya baadhi ya waumini so that they can follow them ili wawafuate listen children of god sikiza wana wa mungu that 
practice is abomination before the throne of God. Matendo hayo ni chukizo mbele zake Mungu. Others wengine attracted money through sorcery and witchcraft. Wamefutia pesa kupitia uchawi na uganga. And there are some still in the church. Na kuna wengine bado wamo kanisani. They believe wanaamini that their success is based on the practices of sacrificing and giving to devils. Na wanaamini kwamba kufaulu kwao kunategemea the biuzao kwa mapepo. I can't believe that even some people sacrifice their own children and their own family members in order to get wealth. Siwezi amini kwamba kuna baadhi ya watu hata wanatoa watoto wao ama watu wa jamii zao kama dhabiu ili wapate mali. Brothers and sisters, ndugu zangu dada zangu, it has kept Africa under the spiritual slavery. Imehifadhi Afrika chini ya utawala wa But thank God. Lakini shukuru Mungu. For Jesus. Kwa ajili ya Yesu. Is the end of our curses. Yeye ndiye mwisho wa laana zetu. He is the end of every curse. Yeye ndiye mwisho wa kila laana. Anyone. Kila eh hey, mtu yeyote. Popote. Somewhere. Mahali fulani. Can come and call upon the name of Jesus. Anaweza kuja na kuliitia jina lake Yesu. And claim Galatians 3. Adai wa Galatia 3. Verse 13. Mstari wa 13. And say. Na aseme. Christ. You Christ. became a curse. Alifanyika laana. You took a curse. Ulichukua laana. No, I'm not going to carry any curse upon my life. Sitabeba laana juu ya maisha yangu tena. You can reject it. Unaweza ikataa. Now, listen children of God. Sasa sikiza wana wa Never accept any curse upon your life. Usiwahi kukubali laana yoyote juu ya maisha yako. You know? Unajua nini? I have realized nimekundua that people are born in the curse and they operate in the curses. Kwamba watu walizaliwa ndani ya laana na wanatenda kazi chini ya laana. Do you know that abusing others is operating in a curse? Je, unajua kwamba kuwatuzi ama kutumia vibaya watu wengine ni kutenda kazi chini ya laana? Abusing, fooling, cursing. Ah, uh, yes, kuwatuzi, kuwadanganya yes. na kuwa laani. It is a curse. Hiyo ni laana. Don't speak careless things from your mouth. Usinene vitu ovyo ovyo kutoka katika kinywa chako. Because you will be a woman a man of a curse. Kwa sababu utakuwa mwanaume mwanamke laana. There are people who claim to be believers but they have all these curses upon their lips. Kuna watu wanaodai kuwa waumini lakini wana laana hizo zote katika vinywa vyao. They can fool you. Wanaweza kudanganya. They can abuse you. Wanaweza kutumia vibaya. And on Sunday na siku ya Jumapili they are looking at me like this wananiangalia hivi Christ is the end of every curse Kristo ndiye mwisho wa kila laana That's why he said Ndio sababu anasema Don't swear usiape because kwa sababu let you are Amen be amen or let you are yes be yes no more cursing no more swearing Ah no Hebu Amina yako iwe amina ama ndio yako iwe ndio. Hakuna tena kwa hapa kwa njia iwayo yote. Why? Kwa nini? Christ is the end of every curse. Kristo ndiye mwisho wa kila laana. If the devil show you a curse, show him the cross. Ibilisi akikuonyesha laana yako muonyeshe msalaba. You are clan and your ancestors cannot claim you because you are under the cross. Uko wako na mababu zako hawawezi kukudai kwa wao ni wao kwa sababu uko chini ya msalaba. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Somebody say Mtu asema amen. Somebody mina. shout hallelujah. Mutu Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. The Bible says inasema, that the blessing of Abraham might come also to Gentiles like us. I like that sisi. portion because it's showing me kwa sababu ya nionyesha Even if I'm not a Jew, hata kama mimi si Muyahudi, the blessing of Abraham, baraka za Ibrahim, finds its way. Sinapata njia yake. Up to me where I am. Hadi kwangu mahala nilipo. Through Jesus Christ the Kupitia son of the living God. Kristo mwana wa Mungu. As you reflect on the cross. Unapoangazia msalaba. See the blessing of Abraham. Ona baraka za Ibrahim. Channeling in your life. Sikiingia katika maisha yako. Through the Son of Christ the Messiah. You are not supposed to be blessed. 
Unatakana uwe mtu You are not supposed. Haukustahili kubarikiwa. But through Christ. Lakini kupitia Christ. The end of our curses. Mwisho wa laana zetu. The blessing is finding our way. Baraka inapata njia yake. Now look right in your face. Look right in your face and say I'm blessed. Angalia katika uzo wako na useme nimebarikiwa. You are blessed man. Wewe ni mtu You are blessed woman. Wewe ni mama aliyebarikiwa. You are blessed family. Wewe ni jamii iliyobarikiwa. Somebody say I'm blessed. Mtu aseme nimebarikiwa. Come on shout I'm blessed. Come Sema on I want to hear you you are blessed. Now don't measure the blessing of God with the material things. Basi uti linganishe pima baraka za Mungu na vitu vya kiasili. Because kwa sababu the word blessed neno kubarikiwa is a word from the mouth of god ni neno kutoka katika kinywa cha mungu are you getting what i'm telling you je unapata kile ninachokisema blessing baraka is a word from the mouth of god your father ni neno kutoka katika kinywa cha mungu baba yako so when god says you are blessed mungu akisema umebarikiwa he doesn't want you to look on material things hataki uangazie vitu vya kiasi he want you to look on the word He has said and pronounced on you that you are blessed therefore receive the word not material things Anataka uangazie neno ambalo amenena juu yako kwamba umebarikiwa basi angalia neno usiangalie vitu vya kiasili So the word blessed basi neno kubarikiwa blessing au mabaraka is the word from the mouth of God Ni neno kutoka katika kinywa cha Mungu Are you getting me Je unanipata God did not give material things to Abraham Mungu hakupeana vitu vya kiasili kwa Ibrahimu. He gave him a word of blessing. Alimupa neno la baraka. And the word of blessing brought material things. Na neno la baraka so likaleta vitu vya kiasili. When God declares that you are blessed, basi Mungu anapotangaza umebarikiwa. Word, ukipokea hilo neno, that will bring material things. Hilo neno litaleta vitu vya kiasili. Litaleta vitu vya kiasili. Will bring you a material blessings. Litaleta baraka zako za kiasili. Come on, hallelujah. Sema hallelujah. Think is a genuine mwambie amuke kutoka kwa ushingizi. Unaona nini? Watu wanatafuta ati Bishop sunibariki. Ukisikia mtu akisema ati Bishop unibariki, si hata anatafuta neno litoke kwa mdomo, anataka hapa. Mnaona hapa? Ukisema Bishop sunibariki na uone mkono inateremka hapo. Ah, hapo sasa roho inaanza kuingia mzuri. Aya ya 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 ya. Wewe unatafuta baraka mbaya. Ukisema bishop ni bariki, leta kichwa. Alafu niseme neno. Aya ye. Tiki za jema ambia amuka. I. Ustafute viti vya asili. Hindi sababu wakati mungine watu kifungua business yako. Eh. Una, unataka tu muhubiri asimame bora tu asimama hapa aseme tu neno hii nyumba na ibarikiwe neno hiyo neno liko powerful are you getting it na nipata when god said mungu aliposema a matter of fact it was a blessing by an oath ukweli ni kwamba ilikuwa baraka kupitia kwa uh, kiapo he said alisema I swear by myself. Na hapa kwa mimi mwenyewe. In blessing I'll bless. Katika kukubariki nitakubariki. In multiply I'll multiply. Katika kukusidisha nitakusidisha. That word was enough for Abraham. Hilo neno likuwa tosha kwa Ibrahim. And that same word is for you today. Hilo uh, neno ni lako hey, leo. That word is for me today. Hilo neno ni langu leo. When God said I'm blessed. Mungu anaposema nimebarikiwa. Hey. Akisema takubariki hakuna takayesuia kwani yeye ndiye Mungu mwenye baraka zote Let me ask you Hebu nikuulize Where is it written Where Tell me where is written that you are blessed Wapi imeandikwa kwamba umebarikiwa Naona vile wamenitazama Where? Wapi imeandikwa? Elezea jirani yangu, mupe confirmation. Ni wapi imeandikwa wewe umebarikiwa? 
kama ameanguka mtihani msaidie zungumza nyi peke yako nitishie jirani yako kwamba wewe ni wapi imeandikwa wewe umebarikiwa naona wengine nasema hata hiyo siku shika vizuri sijui ni wapi am sema Galatian 3:13 somebody say Galatian 3:13 mtu aseme wa Galatia 3:13 Amen. What does it declare or say? Inatangaza ama inasema nini? Christ, come on, twende wote pamoja. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law Christ. that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentile through Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. That we may receive the promise of the spirit Joel chapter 2:28 the promise of the spirit in the last days I'll pour my spirit you a candidate of the heavenly blessing upon your life Unaweza kuwa mshirika wa baraka za mbinguni juu ya maisha yako Be assured Udhibitishiwe right now sasa hivi It's like things are falling apart. Nikana kwamba vitu vina ando. Some of you are doing small business. Unafanya biashara ndogo ndogo. On on the street. Kwenye barabara. You know you are continue yani vioskieni nevunjwa vunjwa hata ujui utaenda wapi. Amini hili neno siku ya leo. Mungu akisema utabarikiwa utabarikiwa hata kama watafunja kioski yako utabarikiwa hata watakuondoa kwa tukatoka kwa maana Mungu akisema atakubariki lazima ubarikiwe oh hallelujah 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 bwana yesu asifiwe i believe naamini i believe naamini any child of god mwana wa yote wa mungu Planted in this vision. Aliyepandwa katika maono haya. Is subject to be blessed. Anastahili kubarikiwa. No matter what. Haijalishi ni nini. No matter what. Haijalishi ni nini. To be blessed is a must. Kubarikiwa ni lazima. Why? Kwa nini? Christ was made a curse. Kristo alifanyika laana. He was made a curse. Yeye alifanyika laana. He was made a curse. You are trouble. You are failure. Oh my goodness that the blessing of Abraham alifanyika laana ili baraka sa Ibrahimu I wish I had time so that we can go to Genesis chapter 22 where Jesus where God said by swear I swear by an oath I swear Abraham utabarikiwa watu wengine Mungu anawabariki bila kuwapa lakini ilipofika kwa Ibrahimu alileta alisema baraka kwa kiapo na hii ndio sababu hii baraka iko na nguvu sana 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 hii baraka iko na nguvu sana kwa sababu ndani yake iko kiapo ya Mungu na hii baraka haiozi hai, eh, eh. umebarikiwa kwa sababu Yesu amesema ha, in, that's why I believe ndio sababu naamini You are children are blessed. Watoto wako wamebarikiwa. You are children will go far. Watoto wako wataenda mbali. You are children will not fail. Watoto wako hawatashindwa. Yes, things might happen to you. Na mambo yanaweza fanyika kwako. And cause pain in your heart. Na yasababisha uchungu katika But moyo. It's not forever. Lakini si ya milele. Do you know what happened? Najua kilichofanyika. I like the story. Napenda hadithi of this lady ya huyu mama what is her name jina lake ni nani who lost the husband and then lost his two sons akaliyepoteza mume na wanao wawili ruthi and who so who lost the children naomi who lost the children nani aliyepoteza watoto naomi lost the children naomi alipoteza watoto and who lost the husband nani aliyepoteza mume ruthi and who and opa now that's very true hiyo ni kweli but one lady lakini mmoja wao when he saw Naomi alipomuona Naomi she said akasema you are unique wewe ni wa kipekee i'm not leaving you mimi sikuachi ah while Naomi was very bitter wakati Naomi alikuwa na uchungu because of what happened to her family kwa sababu ya kile kilichofanyika kwa jamii no husband hakuna mume sons are buried 
Watoto wana no future for me. Hakuna hati makubwa. But in the heavenly kingdom. Lakini katika ufalme wa Mungu. There was a future for Naomi. Kulikuwa na hati ya Naomi. There was a future for Naomi. Kulikuwa na hati ya Naomi. Yes, he has buried his children. Naam amezika wanawe. He has buried the husband. Naam amezika mume. But the heaven is saying. Lakini mbingu inasema. Naomi has a future. Naomi ana hati ma. And the Ruth saw it. Na Ruth akaiona. And he hung on Naomi. Na kamshikilia Naomi. I'm going with you. Naenda nawe. You are God. Mungu wako. Will be my God. Atakuwa Mungu wangu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are country. Nchi yako. Will be my country. Itakuwa nchi yangu. Where you die. Mahali utakapokufia. Where you will be buried. Nami pia nitazikwa. That is a decision. Huo ulikuwa uamuzi wake. Watu wengine wanaokoka wakiangalia pande hii lakini huyo mama kama ni kuokoka aliokoka siku hiyo. I'm telling you that was powerful. Kwambia hiyo ni ya nguvu. Naomi was perplexed, was surprised. Naomi akashangazwa. Mom, I, I, I don't have a husband. I don't have children. What are you expecting from me? Nangu sina mume, sina watoto. Unatarajia nini kutoka kwangu? She said I don't care. Kasema sijali. Because I'm going with you. Kwa sababu naenda na wewe. And she went. Na kaenda. Ah, with Naomi. Na Naomi. Right there. Hapo hapo. Oh my goodness. Hey, uzuri wangu. There was a divine connection. Kulikuwa na muunganiko wa kiungo. In the family of Boaz. Katika jamii ya Boaz. From the family of Boaz. Kutoka katika jamii ya Boaz. The Messiah was seen. Masia akaonekana. Who is the savior of the world? Aliye mwokozi wa ulimwengu. Who knew that Naomi? Nani ajuae kwa Naomi? God would turn her bitterness into joy and salvation to the nations of the world. Nani ajuae kwamba Naomi Mungu atakeuza uchungu wake kuwa furaha na wokovu wa bitterness made God turn your failure. May God turn your grief. May God turn what? My God. Today, Leo, I prophesy over you. Natabiri juu yako. I prophesy over you. Natabiri juu yako. You are blessed lady. Wewe ni mama aliyebarikiwa. You are blessed young man. Wewe ni kijana aliyebarikiwa. Even if you don't have ngombe ya kulipa mahari you are blessed. Hata kama una ngombe ya mahari umebarikiwa. Even if you don't have a home you are blessed. Hata kama hauna boma umebarikiwa. Even if you don't have a father mother you are blessed. Hata kama hauna baba mama umebarikiwa. Who said you are blessed? Nani aliyesema umebarikiwa? Who said? Nani aliyesema? I don't hear you who said? Nani aliyesema who said? Where? Eh? Where? Mistaki utoka hapa atpicho oh jamani uhubiri leo leo alihubiri sana na hauna kitu umeshika where wapi penye meandikwa yes it's, it's a blessing material things je baraka ni vitu vya kiasili a blessing is what baraka ni nini the word the word blessings from who neno la baraka kutoka kwa nani not from your ancestors sio kwa mababu not from your clan sio kwa ukoo wa from the throne of god kutoka katika enzi yako that is for you hiyo ndio yako somebody say it is for me mtu aseme ni yangu i'm a blessed man mimi ni mwanaume aliyebarikiwa i'm a blessed woman mimi ni mwanamke aliyebarikiwa sikia i'm changing your mindset nabadilisha nia yako kufikiria kwa ndugu sunibariki ndugu dada sunibariki tu sunibariki mtu akikwambia unibariki sasa unaelewa vile atakavyobariki sio i uh, don't mean that you are not supposed to be a giver because you are siwe mtu wa kutoa all of us are supposed to be givers si zote tunapaswa kwa watu wa kutoa we have to be generous lazima tuwe wagarimu amen you have to be generous napaswa kwa mgarimu be a good giver kwa mtu mzuri wa kutoa. Yaani kuna watu wengine kweli ni wachoyo, hupati kitu. <laughs> yaani mtu mzuri tu lakini upati kitu. Uweze kupata kitu. Wandugu bwana asifiwe. Si wandugu mseme amen. Umewahi kuona wandugu akitaka asaidie bibi yake pesa anaenda kuona hii anaangalia hivi kwanza. Ndia ndia narudi pande hii. Bwana asifiwe. Kama umekalia karibu na ndugu mwambie ndugu okoka sawa sawa. Bwana <laughs> Yesu asifiwe. Amen amen Can you imagine Kwa, kwamba ndugu unabarikiwa na utakwambia bibi yako kwamba kweli kabisa nime, nimepata kitu Leo leo kitu imeagua kwa mfuko <laughs> Unaokopa kwa sababu ataleta budget <laughs> Come on come on <laughs> Ah Somebody said nimebarikiwa
Kutu aseme ni mebariki mwa. Akizema takubariki. Are you serious? Oh, oh, atakubariki. Mujika. Wacha kukaa kando bwana. Mungu akikubariki. Can you imagine kwa familia zingine zetu kupata nyumba ya mabati ni ngumu. Kwa maana ukijenga ya mabati unakufa. Lakini wacha nikwambie wewe sasa si mabati utachenga ya nyumba ya korofa. Unashanga una Mimi ninakumbuka in early 70s niwaambie story yangu. Mzee nikwambie Early 70s late 60s and 70s hapo ni kwa kijana kijana mtu mmoja tu peke yake ndiye alikuwa na gari kwa kijiji mzima mtu mmoja kwa clan mzima na huyo mtu wa gari sasa tulichisifia ikikuja kwa clan tunasema lito gari ya holo na najua hiyo vocabulary gari ya uko yeah but i want to tell you lakini nataka kuambia sumbua Mungu na magari paka tupate mashamba ya kupaka. Nunua. Wengine mlinunua magari na mjui driving. Bwana asifiwe sana. Singiza jina mwambie nunua gari, nunua gari, nunua gari. Wengine wananiangalia na sema bishop pesa itatoka wapi? Mungu akikubariki. Nataka ni kuambia ukijua umebarikiwa hii vitu vya asili haviwezi kukontrol wewe bwana asifiwe sana hata kama Mungu ataleta pesa kwa mfuko yako haitakufukusa ndani ya chachi utaleta pesa tufanyie kazi ya Mungu amen akisema akisema takubariki hakuna usiwe mkora kama Mungu amekubariki pesa kidogo tu Mungu mwenye baraka zote Mungu anakubariki na pesa kidogo anakujaribu tena pesa kidogo na unabadilika kiburi na panda kiato nawaambia hii inatoka Italy ah ah unapanda bei hata watu wenye wanaongea nao wengine wacha nikuonyeshe vile wanasalamia watu. Yaani kama mtu akikuja anafanya ndugu ukimshika msalaba shika mkono. Eh, leta hiyo mkono yako. Leta mkono. Unashikia hapa pole pole. Kwa maana standard yake imepanda. Huyu si class yako. Hebu nikwambie, mwambie ndugu uokoka sawa sawa. Tingiza mtu, mwambie uokoka sawa sawa. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Atisikui si class yangu ilipanda. Eh? nilipanda class watu wenye natembea nao si hawa 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 hebu nikwambie Mungu anageuza masikini kutoka kwenye mavumbi anawakatisha aya ya 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 somebody say hallelujah hallelujah oh my god i feel like preaching today na hizi kuhubiri leo i feel like preaching today na hizi kuhubiri leo amen Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Kristo ametukomboa kutoka katika laana ya Torati. That the blessing of Abraham. Ili baraka za Ibrahimu. Amen. Oh sickness is not my portion. Magonjwa si sehemu yangu. Diseases. Maradhi. Generational curses. Laana za ukoo. Amen. Number 2, blessing number 2. Baraka ya pili. Listen. Sikiza. The blessing. Baraka of the cross ya msalaba it has become imefanyika a proof the petition that Christ is the i am of the bible kwamba hey. kristo ndiye ni, ni mimi wa biblia i am of the bible mimi ndimi wa biblia now let me take you slowly hebu niwapeleke kwa pole pole When Moses want to introduce God to Israelites. Wakati Musa alipotaka kumtambulisha Mungu kwa Waisraeli, he asked him, alimuuliza Mungu, Lord, if they ask me, Bwana wakiniuliza, Who is that God? Huyo Mungu ni nani? 
What will I answer? God said, Tell them that I am that I am. Do you remember that? Do you remember that children of God? Let me do it quickly so that you can see Exodus 3.14. Exodus 3.14. Write it down. And then now, John chapter 8, we want to turn to John chapter 8, 24. Go to John. Johanna. That one we are going to read. John 8, 8, 28. John 8, 28. Do you see, do you see that? 28, the Bible says, Then said Jesus unto them, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall you know that I am He. Wow! Then you shall know that I am when you lift him. When Jesus was lifted up, was the fulfillment of that promise. I am of the Bible has come. Wakati Yesu alipo inuliwa, nipo mkajua, wakajua kwamba, yeye ndiye wabibiria. Ma, ma, ma. Verses 24, go back to 24, read back. Verses 24. Mstari wa 20, inerudu kwa mstari wa 20, ne, Yohana nane. Mm. 24. I say therefore unto you that you shall die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am he, you shall die in your own sins. Kwa hiyo, Brothers and sisters, Jesus na is the I am. Yesu ndie. And John the writer, na Johanna Mwandishi, the disciple of Jesus Pastor Nesmas, Mwanafunzi wa Yesu Christo, if you study the gospel of John, Unaposoma injiri ya Johanna, there are seven I ams of the Bible. Kuna mimi ndiye mara saba. John takes time Johanna anachukua muda to introduce the I am of the Bible. Kumtambulisha mimi ndiye wa Biblia. Mama Julia, I don't know whether you have seen this I am. Mama Julia, siju kama umeona hii mimi so ndiye. So when Jesus came, Yesu alipukuja. The I am had come. Mimi ndiye alikuwa mekuja. He said, I am the bread of life. I am the bread of life. Mimi ndiye mkate wa uzima. I am the light of the world. Mimi ndiye nuru ya uli muimu. I am the good shepherd. Mimi ndiye mchungaji muimu. I am the way, the truth and life. Mimi ndiye ingu kweli. I am the resurrection and life. Mimi ndiye ufufuwa na uzima. All these words John was presenting to the disciples. I am, I am, I am, I am. Katika sayamu hizi zote ye, Yohana alikuwa na peana na tambulijo kwa wanafunzi. Mimi ndiye. So the cross. Basi msalaba. When they lifted him up. Walipo muinua juu. If you follow carefully. Unapofuata kima akini. The first man to declare it. Mutu wa kwanza kuitangaza. Was a soldier. Alikuwa ni askari. When he watched him on the cross. Alipo mtazama msalabani. He said sure indeed. Akasema hakika huyu. This is him. Huyu ndiye. This is the true son of God. Huyu ndiye mwana wa kweli wa Mungu. Not the priest, not the religious leaders, the sio, officer. Sio watu wa dini ama kuhani ni afisa. He's the one who identified. Ndiye aliyetambulisha. I am of the Bible. Mimi ndiye wa Biblia. When you lift me up, unaponiinua juu, then shall you know. Ndipo mtakapojua, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The cross. Salaba. Ya tatu. Are we together? Je tu pamoja? Number 3. Ya tatu. The benefit of the cross. Faida ya msalaba. It is the power of the gospel unto salvation. Ni nguvu za za injili za zile daso wokovu. It is the power of the gospel unto salvation. Ni nguvu za injili zile tazo wokovu. Are you still with me? Je ungali nami? The cross is the power of the gospel and salvation. Msalaba ni nguvu za injili zile tazo wokovu. Paul says, Paul anasema, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. Kwa wao wanaoangamia kuhubiri msalaba ni upumbavu. But unto us which are saved it is the power of God. Lakini kwetu tunaokolewa ni nguvu za Mungu. Two things are mentioned. Vitu viwili vinatajwa. Foolishness, upumbavu and the power of God. Let me tell you, those who perish is foolishness, children of God. But listen, 
Lakini to those who believe Lakini kwa wale to those who believe to those who believe kwa wale if you are a believer shout amen Kama we ni mumini, sema amina. those who believe Wote it is the power of God ni nguvu za Mungu. it is the power of God ni nguvu za Mungu. as you reflect on the cross Una see the power of God Ona nguvu za Mungu. see the power of your salvation Ona nguvu za the power wako. of your healing the power of your deliverance the cross is the power of God that's what the word is teaching us are you still with me are you still with me? That's what the word of God teaches. First Corinthians 1:18, First Corinthians 1:18. That's what it says. Inasema the benefit of the cross it is the power of self denial surrender and a sacrifice ni nguvu za kuchikana kujipeana na kujitoa kidabiu the benefits of the cross faida ya msalaba the power of self denial surrender and a sacrifice nguvu za kuchikana kujitoa na kujitoa kidabiu the gospel of matthew 16:24 madayo 6:24 then jesus said yesu akasema to his disciples kwa wanafunzi wake if any man will come after me kama mtu atanifuata let him deny himself hebu achikane mwenyewe and take up his cross atwaye msalaba wake and follow me na nifuate whosoever will save his life yeye utataka hiyo kwa mwake shall lose it and whosoever loses his life yeye utataka hiyo kwa mwake for my sake kwa ajili yangu find it atayupata for what is a man profited kwa nini if he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul children of God the cross has a benefit for us why? if you are to follow the path of the cross you have to deny yourself what does that mean? you don't become number one your personal interest lays aside will you deny yourself? I pray that the power of the cross will work still on my heart Naomba kwamba nguvu za msalaba zitaendelea kutenda kazi katika moyo wangu. This is my prayer. Hili ndilo ombi langu. That every attitude of selfishness in me must die. Kila nia ya ubinafsi ndani yangu le charity ife. Sometimes I put money in the pocket and I don't reach home. <laughs> Wakati mwingine naweka pesa kwa mfuko na sifiki nayo nyumbani. I don't know how people know that now this time this man has some money. Sijui vile watu wanajua wakati mwingine kwamba oh, sasa huyu jamaa ana pesa kwa mfuko. The moment mara tu the needs will just surround and you cannot overlook it. <laughs> Mahitaji atakusunguka na uwezi yepa. Brothers and sisters. Wandugu kwa wadada. It has to take a self denial. Lazima igarimu kuchikana. Laying aside your personal interest. Weka kando matakwa yako including sacrifice ikuhusisha kujitoa kimwanga that is what our master did hivyo ndivyo bwana wetu alivyofanya the power of the cross nguvu za msalaba surrender jitoe surrender jitoe jisalimishe surrender jisalimishe the cross msalaba Time cannot allow me to tell you the story of a big and a kuku. Muda hainuruhusu kuambia hatidi kuhusu nguruwe na kuku. Nguruwe said it is a alisema, it is a sacrifice to get the sausages. Ni gharama kujitoa kupata nyama ya, ya nguruwe. But with you kuku a donation of an egg is a donation. Lakini kwako kuku mayai ni kujitoa tu unatoa. Some people here there are some people here kuna baadhi ya watu have sacrificed a lot wamejitoa kabisa for the work of the kingdom kwa ajili ya kazi ya ufalme the cross is the power of our reconciliation salaba ni nguvu za upatanisho wetu where the word says and that he might reconcile mahali ambapo neno linasema kwamba ili tupate kupatanishwa both unto god in one body kwa Mungu katika mwili mmoja by the cross kwa msalaba having slain the enmity thereby 
tukiwa tumepiga uadui hapo having slain or killing the enemy ha, tukiwa tumeuua uadui and and came and preached peace to you na kaja kaubiri amani kwetu which were far off ambao tulikuwa and mbali to them that were near na kwa wote walio kwa karibu referring to Jews and Gentiles akinena kuhusu wayahudi na mataifa brethren wapendwa the cross has destroyed the power of sin that separates us with god msalaba umeharibu nguvu za dhambi zinazotutenganisha na mungu enemy of sin uadui wa dhambi unaotutenganisha na mungu separates dhambi hutenganisha lakini msalaba hore hore hupatanisha the cross is the end of our human racism tribalism and ethnic hostility msalaba ni mwisho wa ukabila wetu umen yani yani wewe kuokoka uwezi kuangalia msalaba ukaona sura yangu kanidharau hata kama ina masikio kubwa hautanidharau hata kama mimi ni nyeusi na uko na light skin hautanidharau hata kama natoka katika kabila lenye watu wanasema awa hautanidharau kwa maana msalaba inaleta reconciliation hata kama baba yako na ndugu yake wasalamiani msalaba inapatanisha Sema amen. Amen. Mnanisikia watoto wa Mungu. Kama wananisikia niangalie kwa uso. Kuna wengine muko hapa na hamuangaliane uso kwa uso. Ukiona mwenzako ni adui, angalia msalaba ndio power ya reconciliation. Hii vitu vya dunia hivi nataka viwamalize. Eh? Siubiri watu lakini nataka nise nasikitika ati udongo ya ardhi ndio hata wakati mwingine watu wanapishania ati alisongeza mpaka yangu alisongeza na mimi nakuwa nakuwa wewe una na wanamali sana kwa hiyo mpaka alafu kwa bahati mbaya mwenye anakufa anarudi anazuka wapi kwa udongo yenyewe ona ujinga yetu si wanadamu vile tulivyo leo nakuhubiria nguvu za msalaba kuna upatanisho nisaidiwe mwambie jirani kuna upatanisho kwa msalaba msalaba Wandugu wengine hawezi kukaa na bibi yako kwa church. Kwa sababu huyo mama sasa ni maadui. Hey. Uadui imefanya hata amuelewani. Lakini mnakuja kwa church moja. Eh hey. hata nvire na ubira hivi naona narusha macho na inua hivi naangalia mali amekalia. <laughs> Lakini nataka nikwambie mama ndugu kuna nguvu za msalaba. Nimesema kuna nguvu za nini? msalaba ni mali kuna upatanisho my dear listeners watazamaji wangu hear this word of god nisikie hili neno la mungu want us to be reconciled mungu anataka tupatanishwe this is the call of god for us huu ndio mwito wa mungu kwetu he want us to be reconciled anataka tupatanishwe praise the name of jesus jina la yesu lisifiwe as i conclude this message napotamatisha ujumbe huu aware ufahamu that the cross also is the power kwamba msalaba pia ni nguvu of the endurance of our faith ya kuvumilia kwa imani yetu the bible says biblia inasema looking unto jesus tukimtazamia yesu the author and the finisher of our faith mwanzilishi na mkamilishaji wa imani yetu who for joy ili kwa 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 furaha the joy that was set before him furaha iliyokuwa mbele yake he endured the cross alifumilia msalaba despising the shame akipuuzia aibu and has sat down the right hand of the majesty na ameketi mkono wa kuume wake Mungu mwenyezi oh children of god eh hey, wana wa Mungu the the cross helps us msalaba unatusaidia by faith to endure things kwa imani kuvumilia vitu we endure things tunavumilia vitu some things are so hard to bear vitu vingine ni ngumu kuvistahimili but the endurance of the cross lakini kuvumilia kwa msalaba tells you keep on moving inakwambia endelea keep on mana. moving child of god endelea kusonga mwana wa Mungu hey kuna watu ni expert wa kufunja wengine moyo anakutupia kuneno mpaka unashtuka na watu kuna watu wanafanya vitu na hashtuki amefanyia mtu kitu mpendwa nisikize mahubiri haya nguvu za msalaba peke yake zitakusaidia kwa maana msalaba iko nguvu ya uvumilivu Yesu alidharau aibu 
alidharawa aibu na kuchekelewa hiyo ni endurance of faith ukitaka ujue mtu anamsimama kwa viti vya Mungu si wakati amepata pesa ngojea wakati mtu amemkasirisha wakati mtu amemfanyia mabaya hapo ndio kala yake yenyewe inatokea wewe kama umekasirika unafanya nini hapo ndipo sababu neno hili nasema endurance somebody say endurance mtu aseme kuvumilia bwana asifue sana jambo lingine the power of executing the sinful nature of the flesh in the in the believer ni nguvu za kudhihirisha the cross is the power ni nguvu of executing the flesh sa kusulubisha mwili good and the sinful nature na asili ya dhambi the cross msalaba and those who belong to Christ na wale walio wa Kristo have crucified the flesh with its of under the last thereof na tamaa yake lastly ya mwisho the cross is Salaba. the ladder to exaltation ni, ni ngazi ya kupanda juu ya kuinuliwa philippians 2:8 wa filipi 2:8 up to 11 hadi 11 please get this pieces we lift you I, I, slowly go slowly somewhere read them and titate on them they will show you how powerful the cross is enda zisome pole pole tafakari juu yake na zitakuonyesha msalaba chinzi ulivyo na nguvu why kwa nini the cross will make you humble msalaba utakufanya ujinike and being and being found in the version of man na kiwa amepatikana anapatikana katika mfano wa humbled himself alichinyekesha and became obedient unto death na akawa mtivu hadi even the death of the cross hata kifo cha msalaba that is Christ huyo ni Kristo that is who huyo ni Christ He faced it. He humbled. Alichinyekesha. Now as a result, sasa kama matokeo, God has highly exalted him. Mungu amemuinua juu zaidi. Oh. And given him a name. Na amemupa jina. Exalted above every name. Nililoinuliwa juu ya majina yote. Son, I ask you. Bwana nakuuliza to remove this cross uondoa msalaba huu mtaupeleka kwa uwanja mali tutafanyia ibada jumapili so aisa kasaidia yeye aipeleke hiyo msalaba tutapeleka mahali watoto wa Mungu ana wa Mungu hii msalaba kuna kiti natufanyia kazi bwana wabariki sana Msalaba inatufanya tusijigambe. Msalaba inatufanya tujitoe. Na Mungu apate kuonekana katika maisha yetu. Naomba tusimame kwa miguu yetu wote pamoja. Nguvu za msalaba. Nguvu za msalaba ni kweli msalaba una historia pia msalaba ni unique na pia msalaba una faida umeona faida ya msalaba jumapili jayo nataka nikuulize waalike marafiki zako majirani wakuje kwa ibada kwa maana hiyo ibada maalum sio yako ni wewe unaiperekea watu wengine sisi kama kanisa tunabeba hii ibada yetu tunaperekea watu wengine na kama hawata kuja tumefail kwa maana hiyo ibada ni maalum yao funga macho nikapate kukuombea Asante bwana. Asante Yesu. Yes. Na kama umefunga macho, ungetaka kuokoka. Mahali ulipo. 
inua mkono mahali huko nipate kukuombea ungependa uokoke macho yamefungwa tumesimama mbele za Yesu mafikira wiki hii tumeanza barabara ya msalaba ningelitamani kwamba hii wiki tukae katika maombi ya kujinyima tukae bila kukula tukitafuta uso wa Mungu lakini kwa hiari sikulazimishi ninakushawishi waangalie nguvu za msalaba naweza kuamua kwamba maybe wiki hii nitajinyima nikae kwa maombi Roho Mtakatifu akuhudumie Mungu baba yangu baba yangu naja mbele zako kwa ajili ya watoto wako umetualika umetukaribisha tuangalie nguvu za msalaba na hii barabara ya msalaba iwe na udhuru kwa maisha yetu iwe na udhuru juu ya kanisa iwe na udhuru juu ya mioyo yetu la na zilizokali ya maisha yetu zikaporomoke katika jina la Yesu magonjwa yaliyokali ya miili poromoke katika jina la Yesu uchawi uliokali ya watu poromoke katika jina la Yesu Yes. Yes. Kama wewe ni mgonjwa kimbia hapa mbele maombi haya uwe sehemu ya maombi kanyake hapa kwa madhabahu. If you are sick, come just stand here. Ninapoendelea kwa maombi. Let every disease be destroyed by the power of the cross of Christ. Let every infirmity give way. Jesus. Kama kioski yake iliharibiwa au business yako ilipomolewa pia kuja. In the name of Jesus the son of the living God. Every cash that speaks against them, these children of God. Let it be destroyed. Help me to pray. Help me. Help me to pray. Let the hopelessness of their life into hope waliovunjika moyo igeuke iwe tumaini lisiharibika ninalaani kila ugonjwa kila jembe jembe zinazokalia mili hii kwa sauti hii ondoka kwa mili yao ondoka kwa mili yao katika jina la Yesu kila mwenye mbaye kazi yake imebomolewa ninaomba muujiza wa Mungu wa baraka wa kushangaza milango zifunguke kupitia kwa msalaba milango zifunguke kupitia kwa msalaba wala ambao hawana kazi wala ambao wanahangaika wala ambao nyumba zao zimeharibiwa kwa nguvu za msalaba wa Yesu leo natangaza uhuru wao leo natangaza ukombozi wao leo natangaza uokovu wao in the powerful name of the messiah my god baba mali ambapo kumeshindikana hakuna kupatanishwa watu wameishi kwa uadui na wanatakiana kuwawa katika jina la Yesu hiyo roho na yaribu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo na yaribu na ingoa kupitia kwa nguvu za msalaba wa Yesu leo 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 baba watu hao wamesimama kwa madhabahu haya koti ya mbinguni yamliwe kwa niaba yao koti ya mbinguni yae mwiliwe kwa niaba yao kwa fedha yao kwa kipali yao kwa inua mikono anza kumshukuru Mungu inua mikono yako anza kumshukuru Mungu anza kumwambia Mungu napokea sasa hivi 
Mwambie Mungu asante kwa muujiza wangu. Kupitia kwa nguvu za msalaba wa Yesu napokea muujiza wangu. Sema sema sema. Declare, tangaza napokea muujiza wangu. Jesus. 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 Today. I declare your freedom. Your liberation. Your healing. Your miracle. Today. sauti kwa kanisa hili lote nzima wote pamoja sema Mungu Baba katika jina la mwanao Yesu Ninaamini kwa nguvu za msalaba Msalaba wa Bwana wangu Yesu Kristo Siku ya leo Ninatangaza kupitia kwa msalaba wa Bwana wangu Yesu Kristo sitahangaika sitakataliwa sitaumia sitaachwa sitaonewa kwa jina la Yesu mwisho wa kilio mwisho wa machozi imefika siku ya leo kwa nguvu za msalaba naitisha kuinuliwa kubarikiwa kubadilishwa kunemeshwa kupitia kwa nguvu za msalaba siku ya leo ninakataa ninapinga nguvu za shetani maono ya ibilisi mchafuko wa shetani juu ya maisha yangu kwa jina la Yesu pigia Yesu makovu kimshukuru mshukuru 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 come on praise Fully 
kwe na maovu sio kopi damu ni mwa Yesu niko salama damu ya Yesu inanena mema juu yangu damu ni mwa Yesu niko salama damu ni mwa Yesu niko salama mimi damu ni mwa Yesu niko salama Niko salama mimi Damu ni mwa Yesu Niko salama Ata nipite Chini ya ufuli wa mawa Oh, oh.